then Azarenka against Fiontech. That is the night session. Both of those matches over on centre court. Not before 3 p.m. local time, incidentally, for Barty Kennan, and not before 7 p.m. for Azarenka Fiontech. As for Kaya Yuvan, well, you, you mentioned that brilliant win in the previous round against uh, Sabalenka, saying that she was actually a little bit scared before she got on the court initially. I mean, Sabalenka is scary with the, the big ball strikes that she has. But that was her first top 10 win. Had a couple of big wins as well last year over the likes of Johanna Conta. That was here in Australia and Belinda Bencic, both at Grand Slam level. So are you expecting big things from the Slovenian this year? Well, it's been interesting, and I think it's a really good appointment last season that she took on Philip de Hayes to work with her, a coach with plenty of experience, because she just needs to learn to manage that game. She's very good at playing those big seeds, someone to go after, no pressure on her shoulders, but actually to get the consistency over the course of the season of beating players that she would expect to. And this will be a real test for her of having a little bit more pressure on her shoulders, a similar ranking opponent, a huge opportunity, and she'll be looking to really take advantage of it. Yeah, she said she also enjoyed tight matches where she had to fight. And you, you kind of feel that's going to be the case for both of these players today. May well be who just deals with the situation better. As I mentioned before, neither have made the semi-finals of a WTA 500 event. This is the first quarter-final at this level in terms of the, what was called a premier level for Yuvan. Uh, he's got fond memories in Australia, having qualified and reached the third round last year in Melbourne. She gets uh, applause from the crowd here. But her opponent today, Asaki Doi, as we were saying uh, just before the coin toss, 30 years of age, very experienced, has been ranked as high as 30. That was back in October 2016. 